Well, I'm here at the Marco Island Cemetery, and uh, just this week I was a little bit shocked and surprised to see one of our front page ads for a local event where someone is coming in, she has her own television show apparently, and is going to um, talk to the dead for you for the low, low price of $125 per ticket. And uh, I, was, I was at first surprised by that, that it would be something promoted by a local newspaper and that would be okay. But then I, I, you know, I thought for a little while, and maybe as you are thinking about it as well, it's a totally normal thing to want to uh, communicate, even maybe find hope and joy in being able to talk with those who've died, those that we love who have gone before us, to maybe settle a dispute or give peace to those who have died. And, and maybe we lost people in a surprise event and we didn't get to reconcile, we didn't get to, to find joy in those relationships. And so what happens is that we, we long to communicate with the dead. And what the Bible calls that is sorcery, or it's a necromancer or a medium. And the Bible's answer for folks who talk to the dead is called simply an abomination. And then it's listed in a couple of different places alongside the, the lists of those things that we do that are evil, that will lead down the path of darkness, that will not be good for you and for me. And so I don't doubt that people could talk to the dead. In fact, I, I kind of assume that maybe this woman here uh, coming this week to Marco Island, maybe, maybe she can, in fact, uh, talk to the dead. The, the question more deeply though is, is that a good thing for you and me to, to find resolution, find hope, find joy in and I think the Bible's answer to that is pretty clearly no. Uh, it's not good for us, it's not helpful, and why? Well, there, there was one who died and uh, did rise, and we can talk too, even today, and his name is Jesus. And so here in the cemetery, you can remember that it is true that we will die and we will be put in the ground. But one of the reasons that historically we buried a body instead of burning up our body and burying ashes is that picture, that image of a resurrection, just like Jesus. We will one day rise just like him. And that's what we celebrate this Easter, is that Jesus did die. In fact, he was placed in a tomb, and yet God raised him from the dead. And it's in Jesus, the dead one who is alive, that we can place our hope and faith and joy in today, and, and not necessarily our, our dead loved ones. Now, we mourn the death of our loved ones, and yet we rejoice when we know that one day we will see them again because we believe in Jesus. And so God does give us an opportunity to exercise faith in him so that one day we will have that resurrection body. Now, uh, you know, if, if, if you're wondering, can I, can I talk to my, my dead loved one? Uh, I, I think the answer, biblically speaking, is that maybe it's, it's possible. The, the better question would be, what do we do with the living? What do we do with those who are around us right now? And I think the, the better answer for us as we try to place our firm foundation of hope and joy in something that will last is to believe in Jesus and to talk about him, to learn more about who he is and why he came and died and rose again for you and for me. And that's what we get to celebrate here coming up on Easter. Hope you'll join us for that at marcochurch.com. You can find out more information. We do have a 7.30, a nine o'clock and a 10.30 this year. And we would love to worship the risen Jesus with you.